Hi, yeah. it's uh, 29th of January and I thought I'd better make an effort and get a video put together. I've tidied the uh, strawberries up yet again. I've done them about three or four times over the winter period. Well, they're looking okay. Garlic and uh, elephant garlic are all through 100% germination. So uh, can't complain about that. We shall have enough there to, to see us through. The broad beans have uh, took a batter in because of the frost and really cold winds. These have, have turned out better than what uh, my other ones have. These ones at this side have uh, took a right hide in. But still they've managed to keep on growing and uh, unfortunately bending over at the tops so just to keep an eye on these and uh, make sure that they survive the carrots I've got a few left in the big tub and then I've got two other tubs that uh, I need to get emptied at some stage because I need the pots these are carrots that should be okay for April time, I won't think. Cabbages, I took a batter in again. What I decided to do was um, I put some wood in the bottom of the tray and stood the pot on, put water into, hopefully stop the slugs from climbing up but uh, whether it'll work or not I don't know okay we'll have a look in the greenhouse it's a bit of a tip in here because I brought a load of compost in before Christmas hoping that uh, the frost wouldn't get at it but it did manage so uh, it is looking a little bit untidy but I've been at it. I've got uh, red barons in here, in there, and up to now in these pots. I've still got uh, about a dozen to to uh, pot on yet. But uh, things are not looking too bad. I've uh, done some beetroot. We'll see how that goes. That looks as though it's going to want potting on before much longer. Now coming to uh, cabbages, etc. They have took a beating. We look a bit in here. I, I, I have actually thrown quite a few away that uh, that have gone. So I am wondering whether or not uh, actually growing cabbages and cauliflowers is not a good idea purely because um, I lose 50% of what I grow and uh, we, we, I think we've decided that it's, it's just too much hassle to to carry on for what, for what we use them um, it's either all, all or nothing so uh, we may call it a, a day with the cabbages and what have you I might grow a couple of cauliflowers and broccoli. These are all tough ball onions that uh, have overwintered quite well. Even these that I put in uh, straight into the uh, growing bed. Onions, these are tough ball as well. And uh, they've turned out okay. These, I believe, are the uh, three pots that I filled with those onions that um, I, I didn't manage to pickle. Um, we've lost the odd ones, like such as that's gone. So, uh, but I can't say I'm bothered because I didn't know I didn't know whether they'd take anyway. But we'll just see how they go. 
and more and more strawberries. <coughs> Even the strawberries I got off Brian, Brian's garden and polytunnel have uh, had a beating in the in the even though they were in the greenhouse, but I think they'll pull through. Yeah, okay. Well, I think that's about it for now. Oh, I've got the grow lights working, and I've invested in a shelf unit to put them on. So we'll have a look at that uh, when I've closed up here. See how it goes. The beds are ready to. Uh, these, I'm going to put onions in this bed. That's for certain. What I'm going to put in this bed, I don't know yet. Probably, uh, probably put some cabbages or something in cauliflowers, broccoli. I don't know. We'll 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 decide when the time comes. But uh, looking at, as I say, looking at these uh, seedlings I've got in here, there's only. That one that's so <laughs> survived intact. The others are just terrible. So we might pick uh, three or four out and continue growing. Sweet peas have done well. Took them a long time to come through, but uh, they've done well. Lettuce. They're looking okay. I have had them in uh, in the house under under lights. And uh, we got to this stage, so I thought I'll bring them out, put them in the greenhouse, see how they go. Okie dokie, we'll have a look at the uh, grow light situation. Here we are, this is the new uh, grow light station. As you can see, I've got uh, a couple of lettuce that they were the same size as the ones I showed you in the greenhouse but um, I've kept them in here where it's warm and uh, some peppers the Spania they're uh, a sweet pepper I grew them last year and they did well and I've got another lettuce down the bottom here that's the uh, saladin I've, and that pot there's got saladin lettuce in as well so I'm hoping that we get a good germination with those. So that's it up for up to now. We uh, we shall get busy. I have got some potatoes uh, in the bedroom, chitting away, and that's the reason I put the compost in the greenhouse so I can get an early start with the potatoes when the uh, compost warms up. But it's now going to want the uh, the heater on in there, which I shall be doing towards next weekend. Okie dokie. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.